Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take On Tottenham. My name is Ben and Southampton 2, Tottenham 5 finally got our first win on the board. Um, finally. And boy, after 45 minutes, did it not look like it was going to be the case. Um, I was actually pre-planning doing a very ranty video about the performance because there was too many people on that pitch that hadn't shown up. Uh, it was very much like the Everton game. There was nothing going forward. Uh, very, we were sitting back really deep, um, inviting all the pressure from top strikers like Danny Ings, which is not usually a good idea to do. And um, again, centre backs look really dodgy. Um, they replaced Sanchez with uh, it replaced Oldevaro with Sanchez, and uh, Dyer kept his place and. Still does not fill me with much confidence. I don't know why. I just need to see better performances from Dyer. If he's going to be our centre back, um, I need to see better performances. And as you know, if you'd watched the previous video, um, I'm not a massive fan of Sanchez either at, at centre back. So yeah, defensively we really need to pick up. We we uh, don't like it. I don't like it. it, it there's no reassurance with our defence. Um, I, I, I'm worried every time a team goes at them. But going forward, and once we made some changes at half-time, um, we looked a better team. Uh, we took Ndombele off and Mora. Um, I'll go in on Lucas Mora first. He was absolutely useless. He didn't do anything. And I, I've got to be honest, this is a recurring thing with Mora. Again, I've, like I said um, in the previous videos that I've done, you can't hide behind what you did for the Champions League semi-final. We need to see better performances and it's just not really showing out for for Mora. I don't know what's going on, but he's just running about a lot and that's it. And it's not really anything special. So um, for me, it's no contest. I mean, in my opinion, Bergwijn would start over Mora, to be honest. But um, yeah, it is what it is. But... And Don Bele came off as well. He he did do really good to provide um, Sonny for the first goal. Um, but apart from that, it wasn't really anything special um, in terms of performance. It was a shame. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt in terms of fitness. Um, I do think that when he's at the peak of his fitness, then he would have maybe done a better display than today. But still putting, like I said, a good shift for the for the goal really showed us what he is capable of um, and I think that was really important. Um, for me, it was more of a glimmer than um, than to rate him on that whole performance. I mean, he, he did such a good little turn and the path uh, for Sonny was, was perfect. So, um, going forward, uh, yeah, Sonny and Kane, what could you... I can't say anything, really. They, they were just perfect. I mean, Kane got four assists and a goal. Sonny got four goals led by Kane, so that really top stuff. I don't know what was said at half-time, but um, it was a completely different team that came out. The changes obviously changed the game. I mean, La Celso and Lamella were brilliant once they came on, especially uh, La Celso just seemed to lock the defence. Um, and yeah, again, Kane, obviously he got the assist, but La Celso, I think, was really integral to... To the attacks, as as was Lamella. Obviously, he contributed to the last goal hitting the post. But Lamella looked a threat going forward. I mean, Southampton's defence really capitulated, um, and it didn't look like that was going to be the case in the first half. But they just they looked like they'd been drinking at halftime or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, they they didn't look the same team when they came out, and vice versa. We didn't look the same team when we came out for the second half, and that was a good thing. So, um, yeah, really good second half performance. First half was woeful. We deserved to be 1-0 down, to be honest. Um, I know we got the goal before half-time, but we deserved to be going into one or two goals down because we were really bad. Um, bit of a Everton hangover, I think. But overall, yeah, really good second half. Let's hope we can push on now and use this. We've got a lot of games coming up. And this is what we can do. It's what we're capable of. And, you know, we just need to see more because when the team comes out at the minute, they don't look confident. And it just takes a little bit of luck, a goal, whatever, and they kick into gear. But the starting match is so slow. The football hasn't been too great. I'm thinking more towards last season. 
but hopefully this will really kick them up the arse and, and, and show people what we can do, what we're capable of. And yeah, hopefully we can see some better performances as well. Um, Cause like I said, we, we want to see a good performance over the 90, not just 45. Um, not to take away from today, but I, I don't think you'll find a Spurs fan who is happy with that first half at all. Um, but yeah, we go forwards. Um, we've got Bale and Regulon over the line, which is good. So they're, they're officially Spurs players. Of course, they're not going to come into the squad straight away, but you know, it's 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 a good addition. And yeah, we march on. So oh, yeah, and the penalty. Exactly like Man United yesterday. Ridiculous. This rule needs reviewing and scrapping because it is ridiculous. You could literally hit someone's arm at point blank range and get a penalty. That's how stupid this rule is. Um, it needs to be sorted out. But yeah, 5-2, three points, first win of the season. Really good second half. Good reaction. That's what we wanted to see. And uh, like I said, we go forward. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And have a great day, guys. And as always, come on, you Spurs.